The Roman city of Pompeii, south of Naples, was under active excavation in the early 19th century, work having begun on the city and its neighbor Herculaneum in the middle of the previous century. Artists were well aware of its potential as a subject. John Martin had painted the destruction of Pompeii and Herculaneum in 1822 and others had sketched and produced engravings of the site. In 1823, Bryalev arrived in Rome with his brother Alexander via Venice and Florence. Alexander was a participant in a scientific study and restoration of the Pompeii Baths in 1825-26 which led to the publication of his book Thermes de Pompeii in Paris in 1829. Carl Bryalev may have visited Pompeii in 1824. He saw Alessandro Senkirico's set designs for Giovanni which was performed at Naples at La Scala, Milan, and visited the Naples Museum to study artifacts recovered from Pompeii. The subject is the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79 that enveloped the city of Pompeii in volcanic ash killing most of its inhabitants. As a scene from the ancient world it was an appropriate subject for a history painting and regarded as the highest genre of painting, the magnitude of the event also made it suitable for a large canvas that would allow Bryalev to showcase all his skills. Bryalev said that he could only have completed the work with the example of Raphael's large and complex work The School of Athens 1509-1511, as his model, and he used classical forms recognizable as those used by the Renaissance masters, but combined them with features found in Romantic painting, such as dramatic coloring, the use of chiaroscuro, and a high emotional content. Other works thought to have influenced Bryalev or Raphael's The Fire in the Borgo 1514-2-17 and Nicholas Poussin's The Plague at Ashdudum. He eschewed the coolness and flatness of the then prevalent neoclassicism in favor of excitement and vibrant color, combined with a deep recession as a horse bolts into the depths of the painting, unseating its master. Nikolai Gogol commented. His coloring is possibly brighter than it has ever been, his paints burn and hit you in the eye, but he was not the only one to note that the perfection of the classical figures contrasted with the wretchedness of their predicament. Bryalev filled the canvas with authentic detail from Pompeii that he had seen at the museum at Naples such as the artifacts carried by the figures and the authentic paving and curb stones. Please before we continue don't forget to like. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. Statues toppling from their pedestals bring additional drama and demonstrate the sublime power of nature over man, a common trope in romantic painting. The figures provide small vignettes of individual experience that reference stories from classical mythology, Renaissance painting or ancient literature but most of the characters preserve their dignity in the face of death indicating Bryalov's great debt to the principles of classicism. Poses and figures are drawn from classical painting or from people the artist knew such as Yulia Samoylova and her daughters. The soldier and boy rescuing an older man may derive from the story of Aeneas's rescue of his father from the destruction of Troy in mythology. To the scene is added an image of the artist himself as a Pompeian artist with his equipment balanced on his head. If you would like to support the channel please check out our Patreon. You would also enjoy exclusive benefits like customized merches, artifacts, shoutouts, and a whole lot more. Click link in the description to join the family by subscribing to a membership. If you want to know more about the Vesuvian volcano please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you would be notified. Eruptions of Mount Vesuvius, a major stratovolcano in southern Italy, the best known as its eruption in 79 AD, which was one of the deadliest and worst known in European history. The autumn of 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius violently spewed forth a deadly cloud of superheated tephra and gases to a height of 33 kilometers 21 miles ejecting molten rock, pulverized pumice and hot ash at 1.5 million tons per second, ultimately releasing 100,000 times the thermal energy of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The event gives its name to the Vesuvian type of volcanic eruption, characterized by columns of hot gases and ash reaching the stratosphere, although the event also included pyroclastic flows associated with polyne eruptions. 
The event destroyed several towns and minor settlements in the area, at the time part of the Roman Empire. Pompeii and Herculaneum, obliterated and buried underneath massive pyroclastic surges and ashfall deposits, are the most famous examples. After archaeological excavations revealed much about the lives of the inhabitants, the area became a major tourist attraction and is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and part of Vesuvius National Park. The total population of both cities was over 20,000. The remains of over 1,500 people have been found at Pompeii and Herculaneum so far, although the total death toll from the eruption remains unknown. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. A major earthquake caused widespread destruction around the Bay of Naples, particularly to Pompeii, on February 5, 62 AD. Some of the damage had still not been repaired when the volcano erupted in 79 AD. Another smaller earthquake took place in 64 AD, it was recorded by Suetonius in his biography of Nero, and by Tacitus in Annalis because it took place while Nero was in Naples performing for the first time in a public theater. Suetonius recorded that the emperor continued singing through the earthquake until he had finished his song, while Tacitus wrote that the theater collapsed shortly after being evacuated. Minor earthquakes were reported in the four days before the 79 AD eruption, but the warnings were not recognized. The inhabitants of the area surrounding Mount Vesuvius had been accustomed to minor tremors in the region, Pliny the Younger wrote that they, were not particularly alarming because they are frequent in Campania. Reconstructions of the eruption and its effects vary considerably in the details but have the same overall features. The eruption lasted for two days. Pliny the Younger, author of the only surviving written testimony, described the morning before the eruption as normal. However, he was staying at Mycenaeum 29 kilometers 18 miles from the volcano across the Bay of Naples, and may not have noticed the early signs of the eruption. During the next two days, he did not have any opportunity to talk to people who had witnessed the eruption from Pompeii or Herculaneum he never mentioned Pompeii in his letter. Around 1 p.m., Mount Vesuvius erupted violently, spewing up a high-altitude column from which ash and pumice began to fall, blanketing the area. Rescues and escapes occurred during this time. At some time in the night or early the next day, pyroclastic flows in the close vicinity of the volcano began. Lights seen on the mountain were interpreted as fires. People as far away as Mycenaeum fled for their lives. The flows were rapid moving, dense, and very hot, wholly or partly knocking down all structures in their path, incinerating or suffocating the remaining population and altering the landscape, including the coastline. These were accompanied by additional light tremors and a mild tsunami in the Bay of Naples. By the evening of the second day, the eruption was over, leaving only haze in the atmosphere, screening sunlight. Pliny the Younger wrote, Broad flames shone out in several places from Mount Vesuvius, which the darkness of the night contributed to render still brighter and clearer. It was now day everywhere else, but there a deeper darkness prevailed than in the thickest night. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.